Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing matrices and determinants, and this is lecture number seven. I hope you have already watched part one to part six before watching this part seven. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about a system of uh, linear equation. So, how to solve a system of linear equations by matrix method? So, first system of linear equation. Uh, linear equation. Solving system of linear equation. Linear equation by matrix method. By matrix method. So there are two methods: one by Cramer rule and uh, another by matrix method. So we are going to discuss today about the matrix method. How to solve push system of linear equation by matrix method? So now we have some equations, and what are those? Let a one x plus b one y plus c one z is equal to d one. A two x plus b two y plus c two z is equal to d t. And a three x plus b three y plus c three z is equal to d three. This is called linear equation, but this is non-homogeneous. These are non-homogeneous linear equation. Why non-homogeneous? Because it has <coughs> this is system of non-homogeneous linear. There are two type of linear equation. One is homogeneous, another is non-homogeneous. Why this is non-homogeneous? Linear equation because power in each of the variable is one here, but there is no variable here. So this is non-homogeneous. Degree of this term is one. Degree of this term is one. Degree of this term is one, but degree of this term is zero. So this is called non-homogeneous linear equation, and that we have to solve. System of linear equations. So first, I am going to consider about non-homogeneous. Then, of course, we will discuss about the homogeneous linear equations. So this system can be written as. Um, This is a linear equation, and we can represent them in form of matrix as well. So we can write this system can be written as system can be written as written as a x is equal to b, where a is nothing else but a matrix. In which a one, b one, c one, a two, b two, c two, a three, b three, and c three. This is a matrix A. X is also a matrix of order three into one, which is represent the variables which is involved in this equation. That is three into one. This is three into three, and B is another matrix which is made of constant. D one, D two, D three, right? So, uh, how we can write A X is conformal for product? Let me check out. Um, A is conformal for product. Yes, the number of column in A is equal to number of rows in B, and therefore they are conformal. And if you multiply rows into column, then first row, first column, A one X like this, B one Y like this, and C one Z like this. So, if you multiply this, then a one x plus b one y plus c one z, that will come in first row. And in first row here, if it is equal to b, so first row in b is d one. So that will come a one x plus b one y plus c one z is equal to d one will surely come. So we can write like this. I hope you got it. So a one x plus b one y plus c one z is equal to d one. So the system can be written like this. Okay, there is no doubt about it. Now we have to find algorithm of matrix method. Later on we will solve it. 
but uh, let us write algorithm of algorithm of matrix method matrix method the system of course can be written like this but uh, solution will be there or not or how many solution will be there that all will depend on um, determinant of a so this mat algorithm we have to discuss this algorithm as well so that uh, we can learn about it right and this is uh, algorithm of matrix method so first one is what is first case there is case H and we will consider case 1 case 1 right find determinant of A find determinant of A because it is a square matrix so determinant of A can be find out if determinant of A is equal to 0 not equal to 0 then system is consistent is consistent consistent and has unique solution has unique solution which is unique solution system is consistent and it has unique solution how can you appreciate this x is equal to b then we can write here since ax is equal to b then if you multiply by a inverse both the sides x is equal to a inverse b a inverse a is equal to i so i into x is equal to a inverse b since a into a inverse is equal to i now uh, i into x is also equal to x so we will write a inverse b i into x is also equal to x so using this two x can be written as so solution is given by this equation x is equal to a inverse b we will solve it but case 2 what is case 2 case 2 is when determinant of a find determinant of a and when determinant of a is not equal to 0 then find a joint of a into b right if you will find a joint of a into b then there would be two situation one in which if a joint of a into b is equal not is equal to 0 then system is consistent is consistent and it has infinitely many solution it has infinitely many solution many solution which can be obtained by which can be obtained by putting z is equal to k an arbitrary constant arbitrary constant right and then solve x and y in terms of k that is z since x and y has value in terms of k and k is an any arbitrary constraint and therefore system has infinite many solution now the second one is if a joint of a into b is not equal to 0 then system is inconsistent system is inconsistent and it has no solution and it has no solution so no need to find solution in this case so this is the algorithm of matrix method you need to remember this and now we will solve some questions and uh, definitely on the basis of questions we will find it and later on we will discuss the system of homogeneous linear equation okay so first we are going to solve some questions related to 
non homogeneous linear equation consider one example and question is uh, let me write here solve question is solve the following system of equation following system of linear equation by matrix method by matrix method or using matrices like this that is the question so the question is given 3x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 8 the next equation is 2x plus y minus z is equal to 1 and the third one is 4x minus 3y plus 2z is equal to 4. Now this is the question. We have to solve these three system of linear equations are given and we need to solve them. So how to solve them? So first of all we will write here the same dialogue. Uh, solution can be written like this. This is the question which is usually asked in board examination that is not very useful for competitive examination but it is very very important for board examination. So usually uh, this question is being asked for 6 marks and uh, you will be able to solve it very quite easily. So you can write the system can be written as system can be written as written as ax is equal to b where a is a matrix 3 minus 2 3 2 1 minus 1 4 minus 3 and 2 so this is a and x is nothing else but the variables x y and z and b is what the value of in place of d1 d2 d3 that is 8 1 and 4 so as usual what we have understood in the previous uh, slide now i have written the same thing here so as per the uh, rule what we need to find out first we need to find out this is what i have written ax is equal to b now find determinant of a. So first of all we will find determinant of a. So let us calculate this determinant of a is what? Determinant of a that is 3 into this cancel this cancel 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 minus of minus 2 that will be plus 2 this cancel and this cancel. So 2 to the 4 minus minus 4 so that will be plus 4 plus 3 times of this cancel this cancel minus 6 minus 4 so finally it will come 2 minus 3 minus 1 multiply by 3 is minus 3 4 plus 4 8 8 into 2 16 and this is 6 minus 4 minus 10 multiply by 3 is minus 30 so minus 33 and plus 16 that is 17 so minus 17 will come is not equal to 0 and therefore the system age the system age consistent consistent and has unique solution has unique solution this is what we have learned so unique solution is given by how x is equal to a inverse b so x is equal to a inverse b so first we need to find a inverse right now now the question is coming here that first we need to find a inverse and to find a inverse we need to find adjoint of a so adjoint of a is the transpose of cofactors so first we will write cofactors c11 c12 C13, C21, C22, and C23. We have learned this all. C31, C32, and C33. 
we need to write first proof factor that is just what the step you need to write during the examination and that is why i'm writing all those steps so c11 that is first row first column so this cancel this cancel 2 into 1 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 and for first row second column this cancel this cancel so 2 to the 4 plus 4 that is 8 but sign will change so it will be minus now this cancel this cancel minus 3 to the 6 minus 4 minus 6 minus 4 minus 10 so that will be minus 10 now second row first column this cancel this cancel minus 4 and plus 9 that is 5 minus 4 plus 9 is 5 but sign will change so it will be minus 5 this cancel and this cancel so 3 to the 6 minus 12 that is minus 6 and third row second row third column cancel so that will be minus 9 plus 8 minus 1 but sign will change so it will be 1 third row first column this cancel and this cancel so it will be 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 right 2 minus 3 minus 1 and this cancel this cancel that is minus 3 minus 6 minus 9 but sign will change here so it will be plus 9 and now this cancel this cancel that will be 3 into 1 3 minus minus plus 4 so 3 plus 4 is 7 so we can write a joint of a as transpose of cofactors of corresponding element isn't it so it's joint of a is nothing else but it will come like minus 1 minus 8 minus 10 minus 5 minus 6 1 and minus 1 9 7 now therefore a inverse is equal to what is that 1 upon determinant of a into its joint of a this is what so we will write here determinant of a is minus 1 by 17 and so what is that minus 1 by 17 into its joint of a that is minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 8 minus 6 9 minus 10 1 and 7 so if I take minus inside or minus is taken common then what will happen this will be positive and the things will come like 1 5 1 8 6 minus 9 10 minus 1 minus 7 isn't it so that will come now x is equal to a inverse b this is what so we will write x is equal to a inverse b so what is that a inverse is 1 by 17 into 1 8 10 5 1 and the rest one is 6 minus 9 6 minus 9 and minus 1 and minus 7 so that is what a inverse and b is nothing else but uh, it is given like b is 814 814 814 so if i'll write all these multiplication without uh, taking 17 inside we can write 1 into 8 8 plus 5 plus 4 8 plus 5 plus 4 that will be 8 8 just 64 plus 6 1 just 6 and 9 4 just 36 10 8 just 80 and minus 1 and minus 7 4 just 28 and that will come up like 8 plus 5 8 plus 4 12 plus 5 17 so 17 divided by 17 is nothing else but uh, I can write 1 let me write here in second step x is coming here 1 by 17 into 17 and then this is 64 and 670 70 minus 36 is 34 so 34 will come and now in third one 80 minus 29 so that is 51 51 will come 
Now, if I will divide, I divide by 17 in matrix, then what will happen? That will come 17 divided by 17 is 1, 17 to 34 and 17 to 51. So, clearly x is nothing else but x, y, z and uh, comparing the since two matrices are equal, so corresponding elements are equal and therefore we can write x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3. This is the solution. Solution. So you can check it that just for verification and satisfaction that x is 1, y is 2, z is 3 is correct or not. So if I put x is equal to 1, so 2 and z 2, y is 2, that is 2 plus 2, 4 and z is 3, so 4 minus 3 is 1. So this is the absolutely correct answer, there is no doubt about it. You can check just for satisfaction, that is not required or uh, no need to show it. But you can check any one of them just for satisfaction and to ensure that there will be uh, 6 marks which are absolutely in your pocket. So this is what the question um, of uh, solving of system of linear equation. Sometimes questions are given in terms of language. So we need to uh, write the equations appropriately and thereafter you need to solve it. For example, I am just writing a question and thereafter we will solve it. So here is a question, the sum of 3 numbers is 6, this is what, sum of 3 number is 6, if we multiply third number by 3 and add to the second number to it we will get 11. So there are discussion of three numbers. So let us first suppose uh, there are three numbers are x, y, z. So in solution we can write let x, y, z be three numbers. Describe as first, second and third. So according to question sum of three numbers is six. So we can write x plus y plus z is equal to six. Right. Or uh, again, if we multiply the second number by third number by 3, that is 3z, add to the second, that is y plus 3z, y plus 3z is equal to, we will get 11. This is second equation. And again, by adding first and third number, we get double of second number, that is x plus z is equal to 2y this can be written as x minus 2y plus z is equal to 0 and this is third equation. This is what the condition is given. So I have represented it algebraically. Now you need to solve it. So the system can be written as, this system can be written as, can be written as, written as ax is equal to b where a is equal to what is a coefficient of x here is 1 and here is no coefficient so 0 and here is a coefficient of a is 1 coefficient of y then 1 1 and 0 here is, uh, minus 2 Sorry. 1 1 and minus 2 so we will write here minus 2 coefficient of z is 1 in first equation, 3 in second equation and 1 in third equation. So this is A. X is nothing else but these three variables X, Y, Z and B is constant value. So in first one is 6, second one is 11 and third one is 0. Okay. So this can be written as. Now as per condition what we need to find out? We will find first determinant of A. So now determinant of a is equal to determinant of a that is 1 into this cancel this cancel 1 minus minus 6 that is 1 plus 6 and plus 1 I am expanding along this column because 0 is no need to multiply so 1 this cancel and this cancel 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 so that will be 7 plus 2 
which is equal to 9 not equal to 0 and therefore system is consistent is consistent and has unique solution as unique solution given by x is equal to a inverse p this is what so we will write it now we will have to find first adjoint of a so we will write cofactors c11 c12 c13 c21 c22 and c23 c31 c32 and c33 so c11 let us find it so c11 is what c11 is this cancel this cancel 1 plus 6 that is 7 and c12 is this cancel this cancel so what will happen um, this is 0 minus minus 3 0 minus 3 uh, so minus 3 but sign will change it will be plus 3 this cancel this cancel 0 and this is minus 1 so 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 now c21 this cancel and this cancel so what is that 1 plus 2 that is 3 but sign will change it will be minus 3 this cancel and this cancel what will happen 1 multiply by 1 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and now c23 this cancel this cancel minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 but sign will change so it will be 3 now this third row and first column so this cancel and this cancel 3 minus 1 that is 2 and now this cancel this cancel 3 minus 0 that is 3 but sign will change so it will be minus third row third column so 1 minus 0 that is 1 so clearly adjoint of a can be written as in first row there will first column there will be 7 3 minus 1 adjoint of a therefore adjoint of a is 7 3 minus 1 first row first column and second row so minus 3 0 3 minus 3 0 3 second row second column and third row that is 2 minus 3 1 2 minus 3 1 2 minus 3 1 that is third row third column so this is what it joint of a now a inverse therefore a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of a into a joint of a so that will be 1 upon 9 into this one 7 minus 3 2 3 0 minus 3 minus 1 3 1 and this is what will come I say this is equation 2 right uh, determinant is 9 what we have solved so now x is equal to from first x is equal to a inverse b so we will write here 1 by 9 into 7 3 minus 1 minus 3 0 3 and 2 minus 3 1 this is what and b is what b is nothing else but 6 11 0 6 11 and 0 b is nothing else but 6 11 and 0 so now that will come up like 1 by 9 7 into 6 42 minus 3 into 11 minus 33 and 3 2 into 0 0 so it will be like this so 1 by 9 and this is uh, 33 42 minus 33 is 9 3 into 6 is 18 0 into 11 is 0 and minus 3 into 0 is 0 so what is that 11 18 and minus 1 into 6 is minus 6 3 into 11 is 33 and 1 into 0 is 0 so 33 minus 6 is 27 if you divide by 9 it will be like 1 2 and 3 
So the x is equal to what is x? x is x y z and what is this? 1 2 3. So by equality of matrices we can say x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3. So these are the three numbers which sum was 6 and this is what given in the question. So this is the solution of this question. I hope you got it right now. So this is the solution of these are the three numbers. So three numbers are therefore three numbers are 1, 2 and 3. This is the solution and you can calculate it like that. So whenever there is either a state question is given or question will be given in terms of language. Some other mode of questions are also given that we will discuss later on um, that how some types of equation sometimes transpose of a is given in this equation so we'll discuss all those questions as well but till then um, i hope you will revise this make a practice lot then only you'll be able to solve this question during the examination hall there is a lot of calculation if there is a silly mistake even minus or plus sign sign mistakes then also there will be a wrong answer and all these will be effort whatever you made during the solution of this question will be a uh, wastage. So practice lot um, at least seven eight questions you need to practice and thereafter you will be able to uh, perform during the examination. But question is easy but uh, it is a lengthy calculation so uh, six marks question. Uh, if you practice well then definitely you will be able to write during the examination. So hopefully you will practice then and thereafter we will discuss the system of uh, homogeneous equation in after uh, the break and uh, we will complete them so till then god bless you uh, if you are not able to subscribe this channel yet please subscribe this do subscribe and also refer to your uh, colleagues your friends your near and dear to subscribe this and i hopefully i you will uh, enjoy the class Okay, God bless.